Okay, it's time for another one of our first impressions on the show we got thing. Yeah, I totally forgot that the show was airing, although only book or two ways it was told in advance get leaked. But I just simply had forgotten, so again I probably to do a con on the premiere day, but again I get busy. But two days can get too bad of a wait now I get. So I wanna do I think like what gets me quickly involved there and they stuff okay. So we have a new Cartoon Network original this time. Okay, KO, let's be heroes. Feature Queen by Ian Jones, 40, more time and Steven Weaver. Cuffing that is relatively apparent. So, this started like a pilot, the event around 2014-ish. Yeah, they had, you know, very cool batch of pilots, you know, for show, Columbia and Arnold Comics. And the same batch and Steven Universe and Clarence were well, Liquid Plaga Turbo, which one understood was well, pretty entertaining, although people prefer Steven and Clarence of them. Um, and this one people do want to keep it coming show, but Clarence team got picked up Bateman by been back in like twenty thirteen, something is you But anyway. Yeah, the pilot but well we'll go show got picked up and it's been a lot of people who okay, it's not get picked up. We'll keep how good it is right? But to a probably four years later, they picked it up and there's change of hell is something that kind of a lot like interesting. Yeah, the title comes called Unwieldy. Why is it called OKKO? Or better yet, they go blog and turbo. Um, but anyway, I think, yeah, it's short by Park, it looks interesting. So we turned it into an own show. So now here we are. And we go with the network, they bomb it out. Brilliant move. But, who you knows, we'll probably pick it out for later week, but for the first week, bomb. And of course, it appeared on the app a few months beforehand. Now you're killing me. Okay, but anyway, I think a lot of people have viewed it. You know, you know, it's like I couldn't watch the review. Sorry, right, I can't watch it yet, so I can't watch the review. So I'll have to watch the review afterwards. I barely heard too much about the show, so I have no idea how to feel. But um, I watched for four segments. Typically, be for two. I figured why not for four? Um, go and overall, I like it more than I thought I would. There are flaws, I can watch more on when there are problems here that ordinarily will bother me, but we don't too much here. Anyway, so, so this show, um, the premise is kind of a little hard to explain it. It's still, you know, relatively, so basically, um, but basically you have, if you look like the pilot from next year, 21, 20, 21X, 21X, apparently, and you have a kid who named K.O., and basically he's about to be a hero, like a very hero, you know, the world, not serial computer, but everybody different, and he wants to be a hero himself, so he gets a job under, job of one of other would-be hero who are older than him, who, who are under the supervision of, Mr. Gar. Yeah, and they, he basically trained to become a hero along with two picky teenagers to help him along the way, eventually. If both people look like I'm kid, because he, but that's kind of what you get. Now, in the pilot, I'm going to just let be hero. Um, basically, he picks his truck off, he just keeps picking the old stuff, but he brings an interest in wanting to be a hero. You know, and when he can become one, he doesn't want to be one. You know, and what I like about the pilot, I like the way you should do the concept because it's like, you know, yeah, you know, basically the villain coming in, and basically he tried to find about being a kid, he getting ass kicked, and then he basically thinks down himself. But be trying to be a hero right away when you don't realize that you kind of have to gradually build yourself up to fighting you like that. So at the end, he's like, he's going to start training to become a hero, and yada yada. I like that, you know. But I like that. He doesn't start off being awesome. He can bucket. He can't fight necessarily. Uh, through the other episode, we need, he can be here in a long way, through a long little way, you know. You know, there see for episode, there's just something I enjoyed with him, you know. I don't know what it is, but I can't get into a good complaint. There are elements you can get show, although it's not too point of being about It's just that naturally. But getting kind of like a lot of shows at the time, like the main character definitely feels 
kind of bit like Wander can went up, go up, go for one a lot about him wanting to help people, essentially. Uh, well, actually, you know, the, hmm. you know, definitely, I don't know, like, you know, I'm like, Steven, in terms of, like, Journey, yeah, and yeah, the creator, yeah, in fact, in fact like, one background character looks like a male pearl, like, kinda. <laughs> uh, regard to the guy that if he, and pick up humor or definitely kind of adventure time back, but not badly in the kind of it. Then the only character tag of, like, the boss, it kind of, at first he reminded me of Benkin. Like, Benkin's going to power and Bobo. That's a few episodes, he got a bit more of a little personality, I feel like. And of course, he had the two, um, teenagers, one of them, of course, the kind of snarky one, who went by Brinky from Adventure Time, that one episode, or one, I believe one name episode, like, a little bit. Um, that guy, one of the few work guys I know, got about Jim Cumming, the villain, which he did a decent job with the guy wake a little bit, because at first I wasn't sure, but then I went, yeah, okay. the villain, he and Lord Boxman, and I love this guy, he the whole thing about he want to hate friendship, he hate people being happy and want to put into that, and it makes a cliche villain kind of play for a shitty kid show, but they really run with that and just have fun with it. Cody probably my favorite, but he's only one of the episodes. So. But he's mentioned a couple of the other. Cody probably going to appear again. Um, one thing I do kind of like, like, actually, it's going to be a progression show. Although, who knows how far it will go. But, like, the first two episodes are basically a two part. Part two of the problem left off, and they're both only like, well, why, why, why they didn't make it, what, 22 episode? I have no idea. But, um,. You know, and the first one, well, I don't think it wrecks you that much. Done, basically, for one, basically, at the end of part two, where he gets, you know, the job in part three, for day on the job, and trying that over thing I mentioned. You know, um, for, oh, by the episode name. Um, the first one is Let Me Hero, episode two is Let Me Friend, episode three is Your Everybody Psychic, and episode four is We Messed Up. Um, I don't have to take a favorite of four of all. For two, I like a little more than two, but yeah, I still, you know, still, definitely, yeah. There was something entertaining about the shot. I like, I don't know, definitely, I will show that take you from him, but I feel like I can come over from a thing, or come over to a wing, which I, I don't have to see more of, but I like what I did watch, but Bill Ford definitely, I don't know, there's a couple things trying about. I mean, character I do like, I mean, sometimes. I um, the show at it is one of the sort of fat pink or loud shows, and some people can not like them, but this one kind of appealing to me, you know, somewhat. I, I, I come far from go too far, but there's also some nice moments, especially in the first two episodes. I'm putting the big end of like while I'm watching this, at the end, really nice moment at the end, we go, well, I've been liking it before. I'm like, yeah, it's a fun start, we'll see what it goes. And yeah, I think, I think all four episodes are good in a way. Uncle Four is uh, kind of cliche if the plot you kind of keep it forward, like they break covering of a box and you're gonna have to find a way to play it before you find out. We've seen the plot before, like in Fox or in the other show. That, um, this thing, and of course, Doug, we could see what's best of all, but they do inject some humor into it. Also, Tim got with Mom, who, bow, who basically, she, like, because he's being a bit, basically, she just tells him, hey, while well, I'm doing my job thing, you go. You know, do a thing and they get in an act way, of course. Then, of course, congrats on the next. And she's gonna go to Peter to the end of part two of that kind of thing. And apparently, she just, you know, the boss is like, bring them and, or whatever. And go, hey, you, you're mean, you yeah, know, whatever. Um, yeah, then the boss is wondering how, where's the mom in all of this? Does, does she definitely like to know what Caleb is gonna love too? But then she's gonna go Peter again, apparently she's gonna go get it because she's sticking up for him and she's gonna go get the job, go. I don't know, she's weird. And then, um, after three, she's gonna appear, but because she's gonna need to back before she does. And we, we find out that she had some history with Mr. Gar, which, you know, I like. It gave us an interesting flashback where we don't find out anything, but I thought it was interesting how he did that. Uh, um, yeah, but, um, you know, and, um, definitely some good humor. I like Enid, the snarky one. Um, now I'll go, like, what the whole character got something to him I like. I like mom, either mom and Claire, to an extent, in a good way. 
the same thing here, nice, but yeah, you can, yeah. Um, as for the animation, it's weird, in general I like it, it's a pretty unique style, you know, though Hank Elmico show, it definitely stand out from some other show, though, it was kind of, I think I got an HGTV, so I watched it, you know, in HD, and every other show looked, you know, better, but here, I feel like it was a little work, because it kind of funny. I don't know if it could be a problem, but the kind of thing that was like meant to look to be watching like super duper high quality, or if that animation in general looks strange. And it the animation does look a bit rough, kind of kind of like um that show um Mighty Magic Horn, where you can well Mighty Magic Horn for the web series looks wrong and there's just a pilot, but animation doesn't look that far off from the quality of your pet to the pilot. You know, it still looks pretty good, I'd say, but it's feel off. It's not the off model, but I actually like that. They go more off model and it's different. But don't tell me that to you, critical <laughs> That's a very really part of that in this show. Oh, um, yeah. I made mean, general, but it's coming out of the off. It looks kind of funny. I couldn't put my on it, but it does look a little funky, so, yeah, but, you know, but. But in general, these four go pretty entertaining. I'm glad I watched all four and Dead Gents the first two. Because the four may premiere on premiere day. I'm glad I have to watch all those. Yeah, they, they were pretty entertaining. I like I like the sort of progression going with him learning to be a hero. And I imagine it'll be a story arc. I, I imagine it'll just be about his progression as he will go a few different things about being a hero. And he might help other people and things. Like he, in general, a nice kid who, you know, went about him helping other again. You know, and I like what they do with it and how things don't turn out 100% perfect. Like, it's more of a pro and big, good thing to come out and help come back and thing. And it's like, I like how I handle that, that conclusion they come to. It's nice. Yeah, and you clearly get a little good thing about, you know, again, you know, nice. Again, you kind of like the combination of getting back to Claire and Steve and the Wander and. Now hopefully, you know, he can get even more strength, I do like him at the moment. I like the end character, I like the get up. It can take influence from our show, good. By the intro is very anime and I really I really like the intro. It's one of the better cartoons I think. Recently, you know. Good intro. Uh, apparently done by an anime studio I playing like early anime act. So go cool intro go. Yeah, okay, Kia, let me hear him. Not caring about name. Pretty enjoyable. I do. I don't know what I could bet things. It's going to win. I'm slightly disappointed because, based on what I'm hearing before I aired, I was betting, you know, Nick and Duncan Park 100% dead, and, you know, just, you know, solid from that one. I go to this one. I got more of an I could bet thing. Although, who knows, mate, there are some minor issues that could become worse. Like the fact there are some elements in my show where that comes out and get a bit. Little well, Craig, too, too Craigy. Maybe can become more. I don't know how the rest of the episode are. I just know from B4. But B4 were pretty entertaining because, you know, they, sometimes they're gonna pride me in terms of how things were handled. I like the character again. I like what got up. It should be interesting to see how it plays out. You know, it, it's an interesting get up, I think, for, um, you know. I think it's got up. It's a fun character of the show. I can see it being like a really enjoyable show. I can see, I, I, before I think all four were pretty good, not really good, the first two, oddly enough, for two was better than two, although, they definitely had cloak, I think, um, I don't know if I like, rate them, okay, but they were definitely pretty good, um, so, yeah, they're okay, KO, uh, again, the clay layer of pet thing, but earlier than that five, the got five, we'll, we'll have to wait for a few days, but, no, I got to it now, so, yeah, got to the so, go, that first match beyond will totally be that town. I am 100% sure there's nothing else coming in between here and then. So, looking forward to it. Dig an actual slow start. You know, show by Buck and Cloudy, which were fine, but nothing spectacular. We're trying to get picked up. We're going to win, which I know been great, but I do like. And then we'll show, and hopefully, that town can continue that trend. In solid, solid shows. Um. Yeah, next Saturday we return to MLP with and then something. So I gave one thing with the PDF tablet. Huh.
give me a second. Okay, MLP of Tournament of Canada, two epic code. I followed with one, but last minute, they kind of gave two. The two epic code being Discord and Harmony and the perfect pair. Discord and something very interesting. So, should be fun to cover two epic codes for the price of one. Then, good guy, right, bye.